Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we have the latest from the live radar run for the latest UKV have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days the temperatures are really ramping up over the next 48 hours as we head into Monday temperatures could be into the mid 20s 25 26 degrees as the top temperature for many and those sort of temperatures could last for much of next working week so pretty stunning conditions as we head into the middle of May there there is a small caveat perhaps on Monday and Tuesday there is the risk of a few showers and thunderstorms especially in the west and of course with those showers and storms there'll be thicker cloud around so temperatures probably would be cooler there but if you are in the east and even the north it is looking really quite pleasant over the coming days perfect spring temperatures nothing that is completely ridiculous no 30 degrees or anything like that which you know can get oppressive especially um, when it gets hot and humid but it's a 25 degree sunny dry and still air uh, it is yeah pretty beautiful indeed perfect conditions in my opinion out there over the coming days as we progress into the longer range, these sort of conditions could last for a pretty long period of time. Don't know whether it will be 25, 26 degrees every day, but definitely 20 degrees plus on the majority of days. And at the moment, the middle portion of the month actually does look pretty dry. Now, this is quite a big contrast to what we were saying about a week ago when we were seeing some more of an unsettled picture appearing for uh, the middle to second half of May. That sort of signal has disappeared or been pushed further into the uh, sort of longer term time frame so there is still some runs going a bit more unsettled into the final third of may but a lot of those are the runs that are just producing thunderstorms and these cut off lows and they get trapped to the south of the higher pressure system so yeah this is looking really great over the coming days and hopefully even the coming weeks this spring is definitely going to be one to remember if the next few weeks um forecast does verify so do remember if you enjoy the videos which you like and subscribe now if you start on the live radar you see at the moment it is bone dry for the whole of the british isles there's a bit of frontal rainfall across the far northwest of scotland just starting to push towards storm away there but as i said this is right on the periphery of scotland um and again it will just chuck a little bit of lighter rain and cloud as we see this weakening weather front coming into the higher pressure system then there are these thunderstorms that are all the way across northern france heading towards the channel islands and you think well these are miles away from us no impact today but Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, it's the instability that's causing these thunderstorms across the Bay of Biscay is going to head our way. And that low pressure system is just going to be sat off the coast of southwest England and southern parts of the Republic of Ireland. And what that will mean is this portion of Republic of Ireland, Wales and southwest England, maybe even into the West Midlands, could see some heavy showers, some thunderstorms, and just generally some thicker clouds. So that is a risk as we head over the coming days. But if you're out of that area and um, the west of Scotland, where there's a little bit of perhaps thicker cloud and rain pushing in, then it is looking stunning the next few days. Now, if you look at the temperatures, we're this around lunchtime, and already temperatures are around the low 20s, 21 or 22 degrees for all at the moment. It's potentially up towards 23 or 24 today, but it's really Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, that's where the temperatures do start to climb. But you can see no colder spots across the British Isles. Earlier through spring, we had warmer spells, even in the past couple of weeks, and the East Coast would be pretty cold and that's because we saw a bit of an easterly flow in this sort of scenario the wind right now at least is coming in from the southeast with a very short sea track so what that means is we don't see a stronger sea breeze and it doesn't you know get that cooler air in across the shore so what it means is essentially we don't have these colder spots appearing so the east coast yes right on the coast a little bit chillier but generally speaking it is warm coast to coast right now across the British Isles. Only cooler spots where oh, we've got elevation, but of course that, uh, that is normal. Now if you head over to the latest UKV now, you can see at the moment very little going on, but again, the risk of a few bits and bobs of rain moving into the far northwest through this evening, and maybe some of those hefty showers starting to push into the southwest into Sunday morning. As that little slow pressure system progresses, again, could be some thicker cloud and a few on and off showers, nothing too extreme, at least through Sunday, again, a few heavy thunderstorms out in the channel that could head our way, but very unpredictable, those storms at the moment. 
as we push through Sunday night into Monday again, some more showers and maybe some more heavier rain there through Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. And into Monday, more of those hefty showers out west. And you can see a few pop-up storms developing across the West Midlands, Central Southern England and the South West and parts of Wales as well there through Monday afternoon into the evening. Slowly clearing away and eventually that area of instability moves away for Tuesday. And look at Tuesday, maybe a few bits and bobs of cloud in the West, but look at this. Blue skies, lots of sunshine, and the temperatures will respond. The same can be said for Wednesday, and even as we head into Thursday, maybe a bit more lower cloud moving in from the east. But again, beautiful, sunny, warm conditions. You can see with the upper air temperatures, they're nothing spectacular. Six to maybe eight degrees at Aindrift HPA as we head into next week. Uh, and remember, this time of year, average is around three or four. So we're about three or four degrees above average. So again, nothing remarkable, nothing out of the ordinary, but it is quite unusual to see these persistently sitting three or four degrees above average. As we see at the end of the video with the ensemble chart, you can just see we're pretty much a flat line that is three or four degrees above average for the foreseeable future. So that's why I said we're probably going to see low 20s, maybe even mid 20s persistently now for the next week or two where we don't see perhaps a bit of cloud or thunderstorms, something like that that could interrupt those temperatures a bit. If we do see multiple sunshine and dry conditions, those are the sort of temperatures we are going to see. Now, do put on the uh, two meter temperatures just to have a look at what they're doing over the coming days. Uh, again, 22 is maybe 24 degrees this afternoon. Very pleasant indeed. And as we head into Sunday, it's still chilly overnight with the clearer skies, maybe seven or eight degrees. But again, it can be colder this time of year. And into Sunday, look at that. Potentially into the mid 20s, 24 to 26. As we progress in towards Monday, temperatures perhaps even higher in a few spots, maybe a 27 out there, but you can see out in the west, some greener blobs appearing. That's where the thunderstorms do develop and it does turn a little bit cooler. So again, that will be very touch and go depending on the positioning, timings and intensity of those storms. Into Tuesday, once those storms are cleared, again, it's not going to be 25, 26, it's slightly cooler, but most still low 20s. And the same can be said as we head into Wednesday once again low 20s you can see though north sea coast across northern england and scotland are a little bit colder and that's because the wind does shift to a bit more of an easterly instead of a southeasterly so although at the moment we've not got really got much of a sea breeze for those east coasts it could re-emerge into the middle of the week um of course as we see this high pressure system moving around so that is a risk but generally speaking elsewhere looking stunning warm and yeah, pretty beautiful for late spring. Now, if you do have a look at the latest GFS now, you can see that low pressure system just to our south that produces the thunderstorms over the next few days. But it does clear quite quickly through Tuesday. And then you see the high pressure takes control once again. And you can see that wind is coming in a bit more from an easterly direction. That's why we've got that bit of sea breeze there across those North Sea coasts. But generally speaking, the high pressure completely dominates in the foreseeable future. Again, the risk of these small scale low pressure systems moving in from the south or the east. Again, those could introduce a few showers and some heavy rain at times but generally speaking dry and fine only really to the extended range do we start to see low pressure approaching and again this is combining very warm air with some colder air and some instability and here we could see the risk of some hefty showers and storms but generally speaking at least out to kind of the 22nd of may the next kind of 10 or 11 days it's not looking bad at all very little precipitation. You see the accumulated precipitation here. Lots of rain to our south, where we see the cutoff lows and areas of instability drifting, and out to the west, where weather fronts are approaching. But where the high pressure is, not seeing much at all. Majority of this precipitation here is actually over the next few days, and that's because of those thunderstorms in the west. Apart from that, very little rainfall coming until the end of May. So really pleasant, beautiful conditions from the GFS today i uh, yeah, can't ask for much more than this as we do progress further and further through the final month of spring now do finish by looking at the gm and the e and f we're going to go through this pretty quickly because they are showing a very similar pattern to the uh, gfs if we can be completely honest again very similar over the coming days that instability does clear to our west that little low pressure system and then we see high pressure dominate there as we head towards day 10 Interestingly, though, this low that we saw in the GFS that was further southwards is a bit further northwards here. So that could, although keeping us still warm, 
and hopefully dry in the north, could introduce some uh, colder air and some instability further southwards. So here, temperatures are much lower during the day. And if we look at the precipitation, heavy rain moving in. So GM, very similar, but this low is a few hundred miles further northwards. And what that means is instead of being sunny, warm and dry, it's slightly cooler, more unsettled, at least for a short period of time as this system clears through. So that's one to keep an eye on. These small little low pressure systems can crop up at very short notes and move quite a lot between runs. The GM run here, very similar, but just moves that low slightly further northwards and it completely changes the surface condition. So that's something to keep an eye on as we progress into the second half of the month. And if we finish by looking at the latest ECMWF, pretty beautiful conditions continuing over the coming days. Again, high pressure completely dominates as we head towards the middle of the month. Unlike the GM, uh, the uh, low pressure system to our south doesn't even exist, actually. Uh, we see beautiful, sunny, warm conditions. The high actually sinks slightly eastwards and southwards. And although this could mean and allow low pressure to barrage into the, in off the Atlantic a little bit more into the final third of May, what it does do is for a short period of time drags up some very warm air from the south. So if you do zoom in to the two meter temperatures at this stage, you can see here we're widely into the mid-20s at midday and we'd expect to be into the high 20s come the middle of the afternoon. So ECMWF here going very warm indeed as we progress into the final third of, of May. For a short period of time, for eventually, look at this, the greens and the yellows re-emerge. And that is because, as I said, that sort of pattern would allow low pressure to barrage in off the Atlantic. Get a bit of a better uh, attack line there coming in off the Atlantic. And eventually, we actually end up with a northerly wind. So although the ECDF goes the warmest there for a short period of time, it does actually result in a breakdown much faster than the GFS, for example. But regardless of all those sort of longer term solutions, the next week or so is looking stunning, is looking great. And of course, anything beyond that can change quite a lot. As we've seen over the past week, we thought it was going to be unsettled as we head into the middle of the month. Now it's looking settled, warm and dry. So we things, these things can change very, very quickly. So again, even though there is perhaps hints of a bit of a worsening situation there into the final third of the month, we can't take that as gospel at this stage. We'll have to wait and see. Have you finished by looking at the latest ensembles, the latest GFS? It's just coming out at the moment, just refreshed there. And you can see only got out for the next nine days, but to be honest, beyond that, it is uh, still very uncertain. You can see though, as I said, we are that three or four degrees just above average persistently. Slightly higher through the next few days, that's why 25, 26 becomes a possibility. Beyond that, I suspect it's more 22s, 23s, but regardless, that's still really pleasant. Precipitation, a few spikes appearing there through Monday and a few longer uh, in the longer term as well. And again, these are just from thunderstorms potentially, but I suspect the thunderstorms on Monday will be further westwards. If we do look at the two meter temperatures, again, looking low to mid twenties. Again, these are looking at midday and 6 p.m. temperatures, so it would be slightly higher than this, but regardless, still looking very pleasant indeed. And if you finish by looking at the EC and OF ensembles, again, persistently three or four degrees above average for the foreseeable future. Again, a few precipitation spikes through Monday, and again, some higher precipitation spikes there is the final third of May. Uh, but generally speaking, it's not looking bad at all. The next week to even 10 days, looking stunning indeed. And you can see even the ECM there just goes slightly warmer in the longer term, as I said, potentially high 20s in that sort of scenario. But majority, just keeping us a low 20s, beautiful late spring conditions. And as I continue to say, can't ask for much more than this, in my opinion. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed subscribing new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.